Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Going to be taking a look at how to upgrade FreeNAS 11.3 to TrueNAS 12.0. Um, as you should be aware, that TrueNAS is replacing FreeNAS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the upgrade. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. Um, as always, we're available for hire for any IT projects. If you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, click on the Hire Us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for, and I will get back to you. Um, with that out of the way, let's uh, jump across and have a look at what we need to do to upgrade FreeNAS to TrueNAS. Okay, let's log in. So go ahead and log into your FreeNAS box. Um, so as you can see, I'm on um, version 11.3 U5, which is the latest, I believe, at the moment. We will check that in a second. Um, before you do anything, it's a good idea to take a backup of your FreeNAS configuration. Um, worst comes to the worst, you can reinstall and restore the backup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to System and General. I'm going to quickly save the config. Go ahead and do that. And save it. Right, so we have the backup, so if anything goes wrong, um, we're good, we can continue. So we want to go into update after that. And you're going to be on the FreeNAS 11.3 stable um, train, which is fine. So there's no updates available for that. If there is, I'd update to um, the latest one first before doing this. Um, once you're on the latest 11.3 stable, I would then... Um, if we change the train over to TrueNAS 12.0 stable, um, confirm that you want to switch update trains. And now we have updates. So we're going to go ahead and download the updates. Um, I don't need to save the configuration. I did that in the previous step. Um, but you do need to make sure that you do have a current um, configuration backup. Uh, and we're going to apply the updates and reboot. And here we go. So uh, I'm not sure how long this will take. Um, we'll come back to it in a second. I'll speed this part of the video up. Okay, so the updates have downloaded and um, FreeNAS is going to go through the reboot stage. So we just need to wait for the uh, login screen to come back up. Okay, so the login screen has reappeared. Um, it took about five minutes. The system uh, booted up, um, did some work and then rebooted again. So it did reboot a couple of times before uh, it come back up. So um, I said there was like a Five minutes for my system to come back online. I had to just refresh the browser window there because it was still showing the um, all the FreeNAS um, branding. I was guessing it was just a browser cache. So um, we're back online. Let's go ahead and log in. Um, and welcome to your new TrueNAS. We're into uh, TrueNAS Core. Um, that's the first update I've done, and it did um, seem to go quite easy. I've had no issues with it. Um, it is a Sunday, so if it had gone a bit pear shaped, then um, yeah, we got plenty of time to fix it. Nothing really to do on a Sunday. Um, so now we're up to date. Um, let's go ahead and see if my jails are still working. So we've got sync. Oh, so the only jail I have on here is sync thing. So it looks like. Um, when you do the upgrade, it doesn't upgrade the jails. As you can see, we're on um, FreeBSD 11.3 release. Uh, and we need to get that up to the latest version. So I might as well go ahead and do that now. Um, so let's go ahead and pull up a shell. Um, IO gauge list. So um, 11.3 release. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, update sync thingy. Um, now this will just uh, make sure it's on the latest um, thing, which is fine. So, okay, major ABI detected. 
need to run upgrade instead of update. I'm going to go ahead and do upgrade. So um, now you can see it's fetching 12.1 release um, binaries from FreeBSD. So you need to manually do the jail updates. Okay, so um, sync thing successfully upgraded. So uh, IO cage list. Um, just go ahead and take a look. Um, my sync thing jail is broken for some reason. Uh, Considering I can't even get on, it means that um, Nginx must be down. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Uh, service Nginx status. So Nginx is not running. Why not? Um. Excellent library problems. Uh, package update myself. And everything is broke. Um, let's come out of there. I'm going to come. I O cage update. Think finger. Uh, IO cage console sync finger and jinx status oh. service and jinx status. Sorry, okay, so now we're running. Um, let's see if we can get onto it. Yeah, uh, okay, so. Um, don't know what happened there. Did the upgrade again and um, it worked. It was a bit strange. Um, it's always good when things don't go right first time, just in case something does happen to you. Right, so my sync thing is up and running. Um, what else do we need to do? Uh, probably upgrade the pool. Uh, yeah, new ZFS version or feature flags are available. So. As um, different versions of ZFS come out with FreeBSD, um, upgrading the pools is a um, common task. So let's go into storage, pools. Um, that's it. I'm going to do upgrade pool. Uh, it's one way operation. So you can always upgrade the pool, but you can't like, downgrade them again. Um, there's no reason not to upgrade the pool. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's a nice, quick and easy upgrade. Um, as you can see, we now have TrueNAS running. Um, it was FreeNAS 11.3. Uh, if you've not been through the process of upgrading FreeNAS to TrueNAS before, I hope this video helped. Um, I was doing it. It was my first time doing it. Uh, I've done it on the beta releases, but this was the first time doing it on a production system. went kind of smoothly other than the uh, sync thing jailbreaking for whatever reason. Um, just upgrading the jail again seems to fix it. I hope this video helps. Um, if you do find this video useful, please hit the like button. And um, as always, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and if you hit the notifications icon, you will really receive notifications of any new videos as they are done. Uh, and as I did mention at the beginning, if you'd like to hire us for any IT-related projects, head across to our website, sheridan.co.uk. Uh, click on the hire us button, fill out the form, leave some details, and we'll uh, get back to you. Thank you.